Oh, hey man, what's up? Congrats on the tour. Thanks man, it's good to see you. It's a good time, it came in 97th, but actually one of the stages here. Can't believe it, I feel like I finally made it. Congrats, it's huge. Thanks man. So what are you watching? Full house. Sweet. Man, that girl is hot. Yeah, I love Lori Laughlin. Stamos is lucky. No, 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 the girl to the left. Who, Michelle? She's like eight years old. Well, it's not hot now. Been 10 years when she's 18? How hot is she gonna be? Don't you remember I said the same thing about Punky Brewster and Weird Little Kids? Look at her now. Dude, that's just creepy. That's not creepy. I'm not saying I wanna date her now. But when she's 18, seriously, how hot would that be? Well, you're going to get a lot more rich and a lot more famous. Yeah, well, how am I going to do that? Uh, win the lottery? Win the Tour de France? Yeah, well, I just came in 97, so I think I better start buying some lottery tickets. Yeah. Start taking drugs. I know a guy I could up with. Dude, I'm not going to do drugs. I don't need that to compete. I would never cheat my sport like that. I have morals. Damn. What kind of drugs? Here's those steroids you ordered. Guess what I do with them. One injection every morning in the upper part of your ass. Okay, um, are there any side effects? Yeah, you're gonna start winning. Of the sword I don't think I've ever seen in the Tour de France because Armstrong is toying with the top names of the cycling world. He left them and they knew. It's been quite a while. Hi, Kizzy. Yes. Seven in a row, man. Yes. No way. Congrats. What are you doing tonight? We're going to go out and celebrate. I'd love to, man, but um, I'm not going to believe this. My agent just called. Ashley Olsen called him, wants to meet me. We're going out for dinner tonight. I mean, I prefer Mary Kate, but it's an Olsen twin. I'm going to bang that little girl from Fall House. Can't believe it. Lance, what are you doing with those syringes out in plain view? You got to keep those away. It's all right, man. Those ones aren't steroids. Those ones are for my syphilis. Let's go upstairs. All right. Lance, what's the problem? Don't you want to sleep with me? Oh well, yeah, of course. More than anything in the world. So what's going on? Don't you find me attractive? Well, yeah, you're beautiful. Of course. Lance, sit down. What's going on? This is just really hard for me. What is going on? Just tell me. I, I've never been with a white woman before. Are you serious? Yeah. How is that possible? I don't know. It just kind of happened that way. My first girlfriend was black. My second girlfriend was black. My first cycling coach was black. It's just... Your cycling coach was a woman? <sighs> Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. We'll take it slow. And if there's anything I can do to make you feel more comfortable, I'll do it. You'll do anything? Anything to make you feel more comfortable. Okay, thanks, sweetie. So, anything? Anything. I don't feel comfortable doing this, Lance. Come on, you said you would do anything. 
Yeah, but why do I have to dress like a slave? <sighs> Just trust me, it helps, okay? Now bend over and pick up those cotton balls. Put them in your pocket. Seriously, Lance, this is weird. No, no, this is good. This is helping me. Now sing a song from the 1800s that a slave would sing. How the hell do you expect me to know a slave song from the 1800s? Oh my god, just sing a song about a person sing any song. I don't care. My god, I'm gonna shoot you for real. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the You like sky. R. Kelly? Or love R. Kelly. Cool. Don't pee on me. I wasn't gonna pee on you. Just had an itch there. I'm good. You know what? This is working for me. Let's just go up to the bed. We're counting down Hollywood's most bizarre love connections. I'm Holland Reed in Hollywood, and this is the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. Ashley Olsen and Lance Armstrong allegedly hooked up in 2007 despite a 15. Hey, baby. <laughs> Bedroom? Uh, no, Lance. We need to talk. What's going on? I can't do this anymore. I just don't feel good about myself in this relationship. Well, I don't understand. Like, everything's great. I've never been happier. Well, I'm not happy. This isn't working. It's over. I just had your name tattooed on my ass. My name is Ashley. Your ass says Michelle Tannery, freak. Is there someone else? No, of course not. Is it cool yet? Oh my god. I haven't been with Dave since the Full House rap party in 95. How old are you again? Leave it alone, Lance. Fine. Is this because of my freakishly small penis? No, this has nothing to do with your penis. Okay, it has a little to do with your penis. I mean, what is that? It looks like my thumb. I even think it has a knuckle. Okay, it's not a knuckle, it's a calyx, alright? I've been masturbating with my cycling gloves on since I was 13. Just take your stuff, Lance. No, I want you to have that. I gave it to you. <laughs> Seriously? You want me to have this? I mean, I can't even believe I used this on you. What was I thinking? Oh, and by the way, I haven't washed it, and nine inches of it smells horrid. Okay, my ass doesn't smell. Oh yeah, really? Really? Okay, yeah, yeah that's pretty bad, okay. When I first met you, I thought you were perfect for me. You're rich, you're bossy, you're abusive, you're controlling, and you're way too old for me. Exactly what I look for in a man. But things have gotten way too weird. You're creepy, you're needy, you take steroids, and I think you might be a child molester. Okay, I do not do steroids. Are you a hemophiliac? No? Then you take steroids. I swear to God, if you tell anybody, I will do to you what Kobe did that girl in Colorado. <laughs> Go ahead. It's not like this can hurt me. Goodbye, Lance. I guess just me and you now. Alinsky joins us with more. Good morning, Neil. George, good morning. A federal investigation into Lance Armstrong and doping in professional cycling has been going on for nearly a year now. I've been following it through a number of sources the entire time and can tell you it's an extreme. Well, Ashley and I are done. Sorry, man. Yeah. Another French newspaper accused me of doping today. That I don't get. I mean, how do they find out? I bullied everyone I know. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know, maybe I'll just have to come clean. I always go on Oprah. Gotta ask you, Lance. Is it all worth it? It was. So I got to put this and that. I think I might have given her syphilis. I don't think we should hang out anymore. victories, did you ever take banned substances or blood dope? Yes. In your opinion, was it humanly possible to win the Tour de France without doping? Seven times in a row. Not in my opinion. So when did you first start doping? 
We're done with the yes and no's. We're done with the yes and no's. Um, you know, I suppose earlier in my career there was uh, cortisone and then The EPO generation began. And, uh, began when? For me or for... For you. Um, uh, mid-90s. Mid-90s. For 13 years, you didn't just deny it. You brazenly and defiantly denied everything you just admitted just now. So why now admit it? That's the best question. It's the most logical question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that I have a great answer. I will start my answer by saying that uh, this is too late. It's too late for um, probably most people.